Okay, going to be doing a little maintenance on the spark station here. Um, what we have to do is replace the non-volatile RAM with a new non-volatile RAM from Mauser. And uh, please bear with me, this is kind of an experiment to see if I can do this kind of on my phone. I know the light's not great. Um, but let's take a look at a quick tour of what's inside the spark station from the working bits and pieces here. Memory uh, dims. Here's the processor, the MBUS module. This is an SM51. I'm going to be replacing that with one or two ROS um, 125 megahertz modules. Down below is the motherboard. And over here is the graphics adapter. Uh, frame buffer, that's a CG6. So that's a 256 color, 8-bit color um, accelerated card. One of the drawbacks there. So what we have to do to get to this NVRAM chip is lift out the CG6. So you get these little handles here that fit into the modules and let you grip it. And you can take these handles out. I'm going to set that to the side. And sorry, my anti-static wrist strap was not on. I'm going to put that on. And this here is the MBUS module. Uh, it's, what am I saying, MBUS module? This is the NVRAM. So it's a real-time clock and a battery backed up RAM. And let's see if we can get that out. So, I really should have an IC extractor to be doing this, but I do not have one. Oh. Let's see if this will come out. Huh. It's a weird mounting hole. There we go. You've got it freed. Let's see, so that's pin one there. And that nice tray there. So let's get the fresh one in. The batteries on those have a lifespan of, let's call it about about 10 years and since this is a 20 year old machine see if we can find some date codes on here okay so 94 so that's a 20 year old machine um, that's pretty ancient and here is the module so let's uh, let's get in there by the way, this is a very nice knife, in case you're wondering. Um, Kershaw, it's got something called a speed safe. Very handy. So, one-handed opening. Makes it very convenient. Let's see if it'll fit in this thing here and it will not so different pin layout there but we'll go without this weird retention clip and that'll do it so in the next part of this video we'll power up and set the NVRAM uh, defaults <laughs>